It's my great pleasure to welcome you here to the Fashion Futures Forum. We're discussing the subject of creating a more responsive and responsible future for fashion this afternoon. My name is Michael Kaufmann. I'm the Global Business Development Director for Online. We have collaborated with the industry to build this Fashion Futures Forum to bring together like-minded people from the industry. We're going to have influencers and YouTubers, small startups that are just making their strives to be success in the market. And we're going to have big corporate presenters that are telling us the latest about their technologies and how they feel about where the future is for fashion. You know, when it comes to the consumer, I do think they buy into the story and the narrative, yes. the narrative yeah. of, of what's behind the products, you know, how it's made, where do the materials come from. How do we use less? How do we make it environmentally friendly? Yeah. And I think that's the type of thing that the fashion industry can start thinking of. The 40 pluses need all the education. So the younger people are much more aware of what's going on with the planet, much more aware of what's going on with the workforce. With sustainable fashion, you know, when something's labelled sustainable, we think, okay, cool, I can buy it all, when really it needs to be about conscious consumption and having less and being happier with less. Yeah. Today we had a number of very interesting panels, which I was also able to be part of one, which was about on-demand manufacturing and the future of fast fashion. It's one of the biggest challenges in the end, right? To, yeah. to get products that are ready to ship around the world without somehow having an effect on the garment. Yes. At the same time being so sustainable that they can just decompose itself and ideally become nothing in the end. The solution will come from the creative mind and the creative mind of us as a sort of group of designers to come up with new ways, new yeah. business models, new ways of doing things to yeah. rethink the industry. Also we had Hannah from the marketing team sharing the latest and greatest about RFID. Hannah Bernard who is the Global Marketing PR Director at Avery Dennison. So I was on the technology panel and it was looking at how technology can facilitate transparency within the supply chain. So we were talking predominantly about RFID the impact that a digital identity of the product can have so that you can essentially track it from source all the way through to the consumer. Whereas with a barcode when you read it, it'll tell you if this is a small white shirt, yes. that will tell you that that's that specific shirt and it can therefore yeah. give you the traceability piece yeah. of this is where it was manufactured, how it was, was manufactured, say, what's it manufactured with. Today we also had our customization booth set up here for the event and people were actually able to experience what on-demand embellishment means. You could have 500 different styles on the website of you know, blue and white and black and whatever t-shirts yeah. of basics in that sense and just embellish them as you get an order. The customization booth is a great way to showcase how on-demand embellishment is going to work. From applying batches and heat transfers directly at the spot, you can actually see how that is going to change the industry and how it's going to avoid wastage overall, which is then in return a more sustainable product. And you can start selling your products at a full price and you don't have to market it all down. The biggest message we wanted to get over to the industry is that there are already some small steps we can take today, some solutions that we already developed that will help us to create the future. And we obviously need partners in the industry to go that way with us. Innovate together, learn from their experience, share their concerns and just get better together as an industry. Thank you once again to Avery Dennison because without them we could not have done this. And I hope you've enjoyed it. So please join us for a cocktail. Thank you.